Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. Also, Beth is, is seriously, dude, honestly, somebody call up Death right now. Check in on Death. Osbeth is straight bullying Death. We have three of them right now. Are you looking to upgrade all your Commander decks with all the sweet new stuff from Commander Legends? Well, don't you worry about it because Card Kingdom has all the Commander Legends products up right now for order at cardkingdom.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Single Scoop, and this week we're doing some standard. That's right, with things ramping up, we gotta get ready for Kaldheim. So, with that, a deck that kinda was tier 1.5, tier 2, was Mardu Doom Foretold. Mardoom, if you would. So, I wanted to play this deck. Nothing too new here, I'm not reinventing the wheel. Uh, just playing your typical Mardu Doom Foretold list with the red, adding a few sweet cards. Um, and those sweet cards are going to be Omen of the Forge, uh, which gives us the early interaction we need to deal with the mono-white aggro decks that are kind of popping up right now. Because uh, it's just pretty much an enchantment version of Shock, which is really good uh, when compared, like combined with Yorion. Of course, we also have Ruinous Ultimatum to pick up any kind of like problematic permanence on our opponent's side of the board, which is nice because that leaves all of our stuff. And of course, with rogues and whatnot, I've got a few more escape cards. I've got Cling to Dust, but what's nice about red is it gives us Ox of Agonis. So this is allowing us to eat up a ton of our graveyard, which isn't an issue too with us drawing and then milling us because we are an 80 card deck. And of course, all of this is anchored by a card, like, you know, the card, it's, you know, the, the namesake card, Doom Foretold. Uh, which makes it so at the beginning of each each player's upkeep, that player sacks a non-land, non-token permanent. If that player can't, they discard a card, they lose two life, you draw a card, you gain two life, you create a 2-2 two -two, uh, with Vigilance, then you sack it. So this is going to obviously be combined with things like, let's just say, you know, Treacherous Blessings and stuff like that to get rid of that so we don't ping ourselves. So kind of the basic Doom Foretold deck, but I'm excited to play it because I didn't get to play much of it. So let's see how it does in an event. Well, now we've uh, got a pretty solid opener. Look at that. We got some card draw. Looks like we're up against mono white aggro. So we're gonna go ahead and play the Divide Triome. Ooh, this Treacherous Blessing is gonna get a little scary, but all right, so it's the mono white aggro deck. So what am I afraid of here? We have All Seed, that's, you know what? That's fine. We're gonna just go ahead and pick off the Daxos. That gives a lot of devotion. And so now if they attack, we get to potentially, like next turn we get to flash an Omen of the Sun and then block. Angel of Vitality. All right. Huh. All right, I guess I pass. I don't I don't think I want to play Treacherous Blessing here. Not yet. Not yet. All right, so whenever you gain life, you do stuff. All right, so let's go and flash in some Omen of the Sun creatures. Block. All right. So the Hallowed Priest will go ahead and grow. Hmm. Is it too ambitious to play the Treacherous Blessing? No, it's totally fine. We're gonna be okay. I should have technically should have played that first. Then this way, if I draw something like example, like an Emirius Call, I can use. I can play that as a land. Um, I definitely will not be playing a second copy of Treacherous Blessing though. I don't live that dangerously. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and block here. Sure. So they'll gain some life. That's a 4-4. Four, four. Okay. So, let me think here. They're going to play something else? Alright, so they've gained more than enough life this turn. Huh. I could potentially get rid of the Angel of Vitality. Let me think here. That's 7-9. I play the Archon of, Ar like, uh, of Sun's Grace. I block something. I'm going to be at 13. I have to block there, I can't, if that's five otherwise. Oh boy. I mean, I guess they have to sack one of these, but no, that's not great either. Yeah, I think I'll just go ahead and play Archon. All right, we just gotta live long enough to survive, right? We live long enough to go do the uh, Ruinous Ultimatum. Oh no, that's bad. All right, so I think I'm dead here. Yeah, that looks, that was unfortunate. Oh well, GG's. Uh, this seems okay. I mean, we have removal, we have card draw. I'll keep this hand. This hand seems pretty good. Solid opener. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and keep. All right, we'll place it by Triome. Then I'll probably go ahead and play the Maze Mind Tome. All right, so it's Grohl. Oh, boy. Can I allow them to have... No, I, I, I gotta get rid of the Karyatid now. I don't even want to imagine what 4-drop they could play right now, right? Yeah, I, I can't have that happen. That's too much. 
Alright, Robber of the Rich is a problem. Alright, so they ate a land off the top of the deck for us. Okay! So they are very much so about business here. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and play Maze Mind Tome. Hold up Cling to Dust. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scry here. If I like it, I'll go ahead and exile the Infuriate. I don't know if I want that or not. I mean, that's only two damage right now. That is... Alright, so if I... That's two damage. Next turn. I play Yorion. Yeah, you know, I'll actually, I probably shouldn't have kept that. But, you know what? It's cool. I'll go ahead and draw now. Take this off my, uh, the, like, you know, out of the graveyard. The Infuriate, that is, with Cling to Dust. Draw a card. Next turn, we go put Yorion into our hand. Perfect, they ate a land off the top. And so now I can just go ahead and put Yorion in the hand, hope I survive. Omen of the Forge the following turn. Uh-huh. Alright, I'll go ahead and just put it into my hand. I, like, we're just gonna hope they don't have anything too crazy here on their turn. Uh, I probably need the four health so I won't blink the Maze Mind Tome. Uh, I'd like that. You know what? It's fine. They can hit that. If they hit the land, or if they hit that, that that's fine. Whatever. I don't have anything for them to really get with that uh, that glass casket right now. So Garrick's uprising from the opponent and robber of the rich. They clearly wanted that Karyatid. That Karyatid was supposed to do something on for four mana. All right, there you go. Um. See, so even odd creatures you control have trample. Let's get another white source. Okay. So now with that in mind, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do this. Blink the ro blink that. Kill the robber of the rich that keeps hitting us off the like hitting the top of our deck. Represent a blocker for Bone Crusher. And this way, if they have Ember Cleave, we'll still be okay. Questing Beast. All right, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and block the Bone Crusher Giant. Then we're going to uh, Extinction Event naming, uh, uh, naming Even. All right, let's see what you got. Do they have another Infuriate of sorts? Um, yeah, you know, I, I don't think I'll, I'll blink that. And we'll see if I regret not blinking that later. So now we name even. Right, so questing beast is gone. Now we get to hold up mana, or we get to hold back a blocker. Hold up the mana to draw a card off Maze Mind Tome. Now I gotta see what, what, what they're gonna do. I mean, Grum Gully. All right, so that's not a four four at least. Now that is another target I can kill. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and draw a card here off the Maze Mind Tome. Hoo hoo hoo. That is something you like to see, actually. Yeah, you know what? I'll go ahead and get rid of Grumgully. That seems like it's going to be a problem at some point. And... Do I want to draw off... You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, we play the Treacherous Blessing. Yeah, we, we, we play the Treacherous Blessing. We have the ability to Maze Mind Tome. That gains me four life. I'll be okay. Uh, just in case there's a questing beast, I got- I- I'm making sure- I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not gonna tempt it here. I've already- I- am already greedy enough, the last thing I need to do is get greedier. Shock. Okay. There goes our Skyclave. Luckily though for us, we do have this Ruinous Ultimatum. So it won't be that big a deal. As a matter of fact, I hope they commit a little bit more to the board. Alright. I'll block because I don't mind if they use removal here. I have another Yorion in hand. And that's totally fine. So these will trade. Oh boy. Do I want to blink more things? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Actually, I've already got enough card draw. I'll take the four life. I'll take the four life. It's fine. I'll take the four life. That's good enough. All right. Send the damage upstairs. Draw three. Discard. Discarding. All the lands that we've drawn. You need to discard down to seven cards. Wait, why does it let me highlight multiple cards? When did that happen? Yep, we're gonna go ahead and grab some uh, more like health here. Thank you, deck. That's not bad at all. I'll gladly take that. 
And uh, we'll go ahead and just... Uh, yeah. The thing is, they have to have a questing beast. You know they do. No attacks. <laughs> they totally have a questing beast. I respect the questing beast way too much. All right, GG's. I think this is the keeper. We have extinction events, so as long as we're up against like rogues, we should be okay. I mean, we do have clean to dust, which is nice. All right, so we're gonna go with survive triumph, so we get all the types out on the board. Although the scry isn't bad either. This allows us to set up the earlier, like maybe find earlier interaction. Yeah, we'll go with that. Survive, or I mean, we'll go with temple. Ah, there we go. So treacherous blessing will give us the card draw we need. All right, so that is a Kazol's Cliff. So they're doing something with Fling. Oh no. Is it Riel? Are we gonna get Riel flung? I don't know if I necessarily need to keep all these cards, but... Yorion, Yorion. I don't think I can keep another Treacherous Blessing. On the board, at least. I, 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 I do not dare. That is too greedy, even for me. I'll go ahead and play the Maze Mind Tome, if it resolves, of course. And then, all right, we'll pass to the opponent here. We'll see what they've got. Are they that blue-red kind of control deck? All right, I'll, I'll go ahead and just scry. Uh, I don't know if we need a sweeper right now. Well, if they don't have anything, they must have counter magic or something like that. They don't have counter magic? Hello? All right. Um, sure. It is real. Okay. Okay. What is this? Cathartic reunion or something? All right. So white, 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 red, red, black, black. Okay. So we'll just get more white. I'll go ahead and scry here. So they have something to do next turn. What are they? What mana are they possibly holding up? Like, why are they holding it up is the question. All right. <laughs> let's see if this resolves. It's unlikely, but we, we will try it. Does this resolve? Dang it, I knew they would play that. I had a feeling. I've been playing around this uh, Bell Pierce or whatever. Force Spike. It's okay. Next turn. Oh boy. So they're gonna draw three here? Um, We'll go for it again. All right, so they throw a possibility here. They draw another three cards. All right, no negate or anything like that from the opponent. So there goes Riel. Okay, now we attack. And pass to the opponent. So I'll go ahead and start eating their spells. Seems like their spells are going to be pretty good against us. All right, very nice, very nice. I'm just going to draw a card. Get my counter up. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so for right now, I don't think I really care about the fairies, right? The the fairies that are going to be coming out of the opponent's uh, board state. Uh, let's go to attacks first. Nothing there, huh? All right, I'll play Yorion. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to be all right. We're going to be just fine. All right, and GG! I, yeah, th this is all right. With us on the draw with the scry land, I think we should be okay. We should be all right. Hopefully. I mean, I, I don't think Ruinous Ultimatum is happening anytime soon, but... All right, there we go. All right, the second Ruinous Ultimatum is just as not likely to happen. Um, what are you playing? All right, Mire Charge. So it looks like it's Black Red. Uh, it's, it's Rakdos. Whatever, mid-range. So, Croxas, things like that. All right. Yup, there it is. Um... Huh. I think I'm going to throw away Ruinous Ultimatum. That feels like it's the most ambitious to cast here. <laughs> Alright, I'll go ahead and just hold up Omen of the Sun. Alright, so blocking here actually feels kind of bad. but or, I mean, like killing the Mire Triton. We need to save this Glass Casket for their Croxas. Yup. All right, so Omen of the Sun, block Mire Triton, put Yorion into hand on this upcoming... Ooh. 
Actually, I, I think I know exactly what we're doing. We're gonna draw some cards. <laughs> yeah, we are. No blocks because, I don't know, maybe they have, like, Robber the Rich. <laughs> that, that doesn't really matter. I mean, we don't really efficiently trade, but we do block. Land? Land off the top? Hello? Alright, it's not a land. It's not a land. So what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just glass casket the Bone Crusher Giant. With now, with like our second copy of Glass Casket in hand, I think I'm okay with that. All right, it's only five cards in the graveyard, right? So they can't cast the Kroxa yet. So they need one more in the yard, and once they do, we just go ahead and eat Kroxa. Let's see, what do you have now, opponent? Okay, so nothing here from the opponent. I'll go ahead and just exile Kroxa, lose a life, but gain three back. And that is precisely what I'm looking for there. A fifth land. We're gonna go ahead and put Yori on into hand. Swing in. Put that pressure on with this 1-1. One, one. Yeah, you feel that? You feel that now, Mr. Krabs? Alright, you got it. There goes our clock. Guess we'll have to blink it. Blink and get more of a clock. Alright. I think I'm gonna let that... Yeah, that, that's gonna stay on board. For sure, that's gonna stay on board. We're gonna go ahead and play Elspeth Conquers Death. Eat the uh, Ox of Agonis here. And pass. You know, we are doing quite all right for ourselves here with three Elspeth Conquers Deaths. Elspeth is, is seriously, dude, honestly, somebody call up Death right now. Check in on Death. Elspeth is straight bullying Death. We have three of them right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yeah, sure. Uh, we have two cards in the yard. I mean, this ox, they need one card in the yard for the ox. They know I have Yorion. <laughs> what do you commit here? All right, so with that in mind, let's see, it costs them a lot more mana. Yeah, you know what? I'll just go ahead and get the red source off this. Let's go ahead and play another Elspeth Conqueror's Death. All right, your turn. That 8th card is going to be a lot more difficult than you think. Because they need that 8th card in the yard. There we go. Now we're cooking. Alright, that's pretty good. Kroxa. Very nice. So we need to find Doom Foretold here. And then I'm going to I'm gonna play Yorion this turn. This is a good turn to play Yorion. Now if they eat everything in the yard and, you know... Do whatever it is they're about to do. That's that's good news for us, I think. All right. Sure. So, Croaks are gone. Ox of Agonis back. With another ox in the yard. Oh, boy. Come on. There we go. So now I can go ahead and play Omen of the Forge. Take another one. Let's blow up the zombie token. Oh, Yorion's gonna party this turn. The Sky Noodle will return. Boop, boop, boop. All right, let's go with all of those cards. White, white. We have double white already. We, yeah. Okay. You know what? I ah, well, you, I, I don't think it hurts to necessarily have another white source. Should be fine. So, still got. Three forms of exile in hand here. Uh, yeah. That'll be our turn. If they kill our Yorion, that's good for us. They probably don't want to exile that only creature they have in their yard, right? Yeah, they don't want to exile that. I didn't see any other enchantments, yeah. The ox is worth more than that. No! Okay, alright, alright. Don't even need it. Don't even need it. The Akroan War. That's one heck of a magic card. For as long as they control... Alright, as long as that is on the battlefield, they get to have that. Alright, sweet. I'll go ahead and exile the Akroan War. I'll go ahead and equip that to the Temple of Malice, or enchant the Temple of Malice here. I probably should have done it in this order, where the Lithoform Blight first. Drew a land, feels good. Alright, so they still have how many Croxes left? They have two Croxes left in the deck. Two Croxes left, that's three Oxes gone. 
they might have a fourth, but it doesn't seem likely. Oh, ho, ho, ho! they do have it. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Nice, very nice. I need to find a doom for Tulp. This treacherous blessing is slowly withering me down. Yeah. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attack. Put them down a, a health here. So they're at 17. They can, they have to what? They swing with Ox. I'll gladly block. Kroxa. Sure. Let's go ahead and cycle this first. See what we draw. Even odd. All right, cool. So they're going to play Kroxa. That'll eat a mountain. So I'm down to seven here. All right, so we're at seven. I can go ahead and name. Even then I lose all my tokens. Odd means that I get rid of Ox and my own Yorion. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So here's how we're going to go about this. Swing out. Odd, odd. They'll have to sacrifice Kroxa. And now we've got our Doom Foretold online. They sack Kroxa. We have discard fodder. If they have double, like what, another Kroxa and a way to play Kroxa again, we're dead. But we're both at five right now. All right, so Meyer Triton puts them at five, or puts them at five cards in the yard. Sure, they kill an angel token, that makes sense. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't mind blocking like that. Oh, that was such a good draw. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. There we go. We drew another, another extinction event. Exactly what the doctor ordered. And then we name even. There goes Kroxa. And then we just pass to them. I'm going to hold on to this land just in case. Boom, right there. Got another knight. I think that closes it out for us. They also can't use that Temple of Malice or they die. <laughs> Doom! <laughs> Finally, it took like a hundred cards of draw, like to draw, but we got there. We drew like our library, but we got there. Even if they, they steal my ox or something like that right now, it's whatever. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. I'll take that. All right, let's take a look. What do we have in the yard here? I'll exile that, that. I don't necessarily have a, like many ways to bring it back or a lot of the stuff back. And I don't mind throwing away these lands because I've got so many already. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's scry first. Sure, keep that. Go ahead and play Treacherous Blessing. And that's Double Doom. All right. That's pretty good. They won for one, so I, I don't see them, eat, like, killing us. At best, yeah, they Shatter Skull Smashing. They kill my Ox and, and a token. That still leaves a token. And I have Omen of the Forge and Doom Foretold times two. Let's see it. What, what was that top card? All right, Shatter Skull Smashing won't do it. GG. All right. Combat, and that closes it out. The 1-1 one, one takes us home. I dig. I'll keep. We have triple Skyclave Apparition and a Treacherous Blessing, right? We'll be fine. Just gotta hope our stuff resolves. I haven't seen a Rogues deck, thankfully. Because we cannot... I, I love Rogues, but I don't think we can beat this. Uh, beat that. We're just way... We're just too slow for Rogues. All right. Temple... Uh, you know, that's a pretty good two drop for us, so I'll keep that. Alright. Maze Mind Tome. This will scry at the end of their turn. Sultai. What Sultai decks exist? Is this just. Oh, is this just control? This is probably just Demir control. That's what it is. Uh, need a land. 
Still digging for a land. There we go. And it's one that doesn't like hit me for three, so I can play Treacherous Blessing. Okay, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and Lithiform Blight the Zagoth Triome. Uh, I'll go ahead and play the Scryland. Ox doesn't sound bad. Might need that later. Alright, so we're going to now go ahead and take out their Zagoth Triome. And pass. Solemn. Yeah, this is definitely a control deck. Without a doubt in my mind, this is a control deck. Alright. What are we looking for against this opponent? I definitely don't want to just kill that with a shock. Alright, we'll go play Savai Triome and then pass. Yep, there's Ashiok. That's a problem. Hopefully they bounce something. But I don't think that's the case. Yeah. Given form. Huh. How do we beat that Ashiok right now? We don't have a way to draw. Alright, I'll go ahead and put Yorion into hand. Let's see. I can shock the, the Ashiok down to four loyalty. I don't mind... If they could like tap if they tap out this makes it a lot easier for us, but I don't think they will. I just need to find a doom for toll. Oh, there goes our soul shatter. That's a feel bad. Alright. Now they do have counter magic. Without a doubt in my mind, they, they definitely have counter magic. And they can use they can cast it twice. Will they even let me resolve this spell? Okay. Mystical Dispute resolves. Can't pay it. Yep. That's pretty good. And there's Ugin. I think that's going to close out the game here. Because we can't beat both an Ugin and an Ashiok. We are still struggling to deal with just the one. If they minus this Ugin at all, they lose their tokens. All right, cool. So they get that back. I'll go ahead and just draw a card here. Yorion's gone. Treacherous Blessing and a land is gone. All right, I'll go ahead and draw another card. That is not what you want to see. All right. How desperate am I? I have Ruinous Ultimatum. Ruinous Ultimatoes. Even. Alright, we'll go ahead and pass back to the opponent here. We've got to resolve an Ultimatum. That's, that's how we win this. Which seems not likely, but we will try. Alright, three at the face. Seems good. Beyond perception. Draw a card. Oh, there it is. I just gotta draw it. Or I gotta resolve it. That's it. Nice. Oh my god, it resolved. It resolved. It resolved. Everybody grab a leg again. Alright. That's pretty good. Huh. I don't know if we can afford to take another chunk of damage here. Oh, that feels so bad. We just keep hitting... Where are my Doom Foretolds? Alright, I'll just have to crack these at the end of the turn. Like, they haven't milled any, so I guess we're just gonna pass. All right. Okay, so we got rid of that. I I think it's it's pretty much do or die now, right? Like, I've got a scry. Yeah, I've got a scry here. That's not gonna. None of these are gonna do it. Where are my doom foretolds? Not there. 
Alright. How desperate am I? There we go. Will this resolve? Oh, perfect. It did. I'm just going to play this for a blocker. And then pass. We finally drew what we were looking for uh, in, in Doom Foretold, so that felt good. Alright, yeah, you got it. Glass Casket, Omen of the Sun, Amiria, Amiria, Block. Again. Alright, sure. So, um, they're gonna go ahead and sacrifice the Ashiok, which is good for us. All your fears are given form. Let me see, what can I draw? Oh, cling to dust will be nice. Okay, I keep drawing these. What do they have here that I can... What can I eat up to gain some life? I guess I can eat my own... Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play the Ox here. Oh, wow. Triple land. That does not feel good. Alright, so they're gonna try to- they're gonna slowly mill us out here if we don't find something to do. Extinction event- oh, that's so bad for us. Again! Alright. Yep, there goes our graveyard. And we drew another land. Or a non- a non-factor card here. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so they sack there. Hold. I was supposed to do something before all of that. Ugin. Yeah, that's fine. Perfection is a journey, not a destination. Oh, they didn't plus yet. They didn't plus yet. Hold on, they didn't plus yet. That was a mistake on my part. Let me think here. They'll they'll have a way to kill this, won't they? That's fine, so that's all gone. I need to find another another Doom foretold. Alright, um Come on, another land. All right. <laughs> another one, all right. And another useless card. Dang it. That's a feel bad. All right. I will destroy. Castles online. We die next turn if we don't draw Doom Foretold here. But even then, now Doom Foretold doesn't save us, so it's Elspeth Conquers Death. One top, one bottom. Okay, another land. Always good. Always good. Come on. I'm just gonna play this land now. Nope, that's not gonna do anything. Ugin can minus for zero. Three, six. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and exile here. One, two, three, four, five. They probably have like another Ugin on top or something. I just wanna see if I don't draw a land. I drew all lands. GG, GG. Good game, good game. Keep, card draw, removal, removal, removal. Exactly what I want in best of one. Oh, please, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are we at? Yeah, th this is definitely a keeper. We have all the early interaction we'd need and the sweeper for the late game. And it's probably a Doom Foretold deck. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Sure, we'll keep the fourth land. It's a Doom Foretold deck, isn't it? Oh, after we finally got our sweepers! Ah! Oh, our resident sweeper! Now we go for Bright Climb. Oh, wait! No! It's... It is! It's a creature deck! It's a creature deck, yes! Okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna play Treacherous Blessing. That puts me at... A bajillion cards in hand, doesn't it? But I'll discard that. 
All right. Vito. So we take one, and then we take two more. Yeah, Vito's gotta go. Vito's gotta go. Sorry, bud. All right, so... I have to imagine that Vito is more of a threat than Daxos. I could be wrong, but... I don't know, Vito's scary. Okay, the sequel. Vito 2. Electric Boogaloo. Vito 2, you got it. <laughs> Alright. They definitely have Skyclave Cleric, don't they? Or uh, Apparition. So now I just spend all of next turn... All, like, putting Yorion into my hand? Alright. Arcsfiend's Vessel. Bastion of Remembrance. Okay. Opponent is definitely not short on things to do. Uh, what can I do now? Red, red, black, black, white, white. Well, we use, we're predominantly using a bunch of white cards, so I'm going to just keep filling that up. Also, we are pretty low on health here. So we need to find that Doom Foretold sooner than later. Oh boy. Bastion of Remembrance again. Well, that's not great. I have to name even. It's when they die, right? Okay, cool. It's only when they die. And so now what I gotta do is I gotta go Yorion, blink all my stuff. Oh my gosh. That is, is that the playset? Is that the playset from the opponent? I mean, it gets it off the board, I take two. Yeah, that's fine. Gets it off the board, I take two. Oh god, alright, yeah, we gotta do this. They would get two bodies back, but we could block both of them. Okay. Pick off the veto so they don't get to do it again. We draw a bunch of cards. There it is, Doom Foretold. Sure, that's fine. The tokens aren't an issue here. We have Extinction Event. Okay, now I have to block, but that's fine. So we block the biggest bodies. They get all these tokens back. We Extinction Event and Doom Foretold. Oh no, wait, hold on. I'm at one, so it never makes it back to me. Oh no, wait, it does, it does, it does. I, I'm exactly at one. I'm exactly at one. Oh! <laughs> Maybe I'll just draw more cards. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> huh. I will play the Yorion. Not blinking anything, because there's no point to it. They have to sacrifice something. Okay, yeah. I can still gain a life back through Cling to Dust here. Gaining enough life to put me at four. Oh no, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. We're definitely getting rid of Arcsfiend's Vessel. Okay. Gain some life back. Here, they could have this card back. That's fine. Oh, boy. I forgot about that little cute interaction. So I'm going to lose another life. Okay, sure, you got it. And just in case I get, like, we get a little scary here, uh, it gets, if it gets a little dicey, Let's just go ahead and exile another batch of cards because you know what I'm going to do? I am going to draw more cards. No such thing as enough cards. Now that is what I like to see. Let's go to combat. They have to sacrifice something. Now if they remove my Doom Foretold, I'm in so much trouble. Yes! Just barely. I'm keeping this. I'm definitely keeping this. We have four lands. I have my black source that I need. Okay, yeah, we're good. 
as long as we don't get paired against rogues. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and play the mountain there. Um, Fabled Passage can go get our second white source. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play Omen of the Sun at the end of their turn, go into Doom Foretold. Naya, Cultivate, okay. That is interesting. Naya with Cultivate. What does that Cultivate go into? And this is rotated, right? Yes. I guess we'll find out. And now I gotta make sure I get double white. All right, in for two. What does the opponent have? All right, stomp, you got it. Oh, Great Henge is definitely getting picked off. And in for one again. Thundering Rebuke they can keep. Yeah, Great Henge is a big N-O. Is it Naya Giants? That's actually really cool. Getting ready for Kaldheim already, huh, opponent? I like it. All right, white, 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 red, red. We just need one black source. Depending on what they do, I might just sack the omen. Yeah, it looks like I'm just gonna sack the omen. And now we can go ahead and pass. I draw more cards, I'll discard some stuff. Uh, probably don't need that. Submit one. I have another Doom Foretold, so I, I'll be okay. And I'm at 22. With like a million cards in hand. Yup. So they've used their, their Realm Cloak Giant to answer. Uh, it really is Naya Giants. Wow. Big deck energy for sure. All right. Get a second black source on the board now. So there's black, black, triple white, double red. Now we go and play Doom Foretold again. Get a little, uh, little friend here. Glass Casket doesn't seem like he's gonna have many targets. Let's go ahead and swing into the air. None of these have reach, right? I don't know, you, you would think Giants would have reach, but I guess not. Storm's Wrath, something I was, <laughs> once again, not prepared. I mean, I, I, Giant Tribal. They're already in Kaldheim. I like it. Nice, and we got rid of another Great Henge. And this is exactly eight point, uh, 10 points of damage. And once they play that Realm Cloak to block the 2-2, we just blow up every like all their stuff. Or we ECD it, it's all the same. Now if they have a Sweeper, I can't do anything about that. Oh, come on, Ugin, no! That's so good! That's so good, and it's a minus zero. All right, all right, all right, that's pretty good. You got me. My research has... I'm putting Yorion into hand. This way, if they play that giant, we go ahead and exile it. I don't think I need to play anything right now, do I? <laughs> no, nah, it's cool. They can, they can go. It's their turn. Let's go deck thinning. Get any source here. We'll get another black source, sure. Okay, so we have all of that there. Let's go ahead and draw another card. Why not? Oh, that's gonna be good. That'll be fun. And I'll just go ahead and play another enchantment. I see no reason not to, right? Put them down to six, so they're out of cards now. They have to draw their card for the turn. Unfortunately, they just discarded a land. And that looks like we shut the door on the Giants. And that was actually a, quite a solid run. I was a little bit worried going into best of one how a, a Doom Foretold deck would perform, considering how fast and aggressive the best of one format is. But luckily, the Omen of the Forge, uh, when we drew it, was decent. 
Um, we kind of got paired against a few control decks, which I feel like we oddly struggled against. Well, maybe we didn't struggle against it. We did get a little unlucky and drew a ton of lands. But regardless, I think the deck was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm excited to see what Kaldheim brings uh, to the format because we have that new Saga coming in Boros, which looks like it's going to pair quite nicely with Yorion as it, it's like an impulse. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what Kaldheim brings, but it, we know Sagas are coming back. We've got a ton of sagas coming in, and with that, that's got to be just value with Yorion. So this has a lot of potential going into Kaldheim Standard. So uh, if you're excited for Mardu and you're excited for Doom Foretold style play, like t style decks, definitely look forward to Kaldheim, and I'll definitely be making a new video. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Single Scoop, and as always, I do appreciate y'all supporting the content. Feel free to leave a like and a sub, and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video goes live. Other than that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.